Collins with us after Embassy Gardens carried off a great three double here for the champion trainer. And Willie again, lovely performance. He looks like he was born to jump a fence this horse, doesn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Uh, I just said to David Casey in the stand, you know, this fellow loves jumping every time he sees a fence, pricks the two ears, uh, measures it out himself, very seldom gets it wrong. And I think fences have helped him too to settle because he was too free uh, over, as, over hurdles and didn't. I don't think he cared too much about hurdles. Fencing is a whole different ball game. Um, we had the dam at Diana de Motts and she was she loved jumping as well, you know. So, galloping, jumping, staying—that's his name. Interesting race to watch with the horse in front sticking on his own over on the inside. What, were you, what was going through your head on the way round? Well, you know, some jockeys like to go the shortest way around. Other jockeys, uh, Paul always likes to keep out a little bit. Um, you know, he, Paul has a different, uh, different method of riding racing than a lot of jockeys. And, um, you know, it's, it suits him. I've, uh, you know, I always like Paul's style, but you never see Paul wedged on the rail or anything like that. He always likes to keep his options open, keep off the rail a bit, and will travel the outside. Um, on this track, he will. But uh, you know, watching him racing any at any track, um, he's not a you know have to go down the inside every day. He doesn't. He 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 just rides he rides races differently than a lot of other jockeys. Everyone seems to think this is the horse that Patrick is going to be on in the National Hunt Chase at Cheltenham. Is that your feeling at the moment? Well, I'll have to have a word with um, Sean and Bernadine, see what they want to do. But he's in the Brown Advisory. He's in that race. Uh, uh, the form, the, the, not the form, the National Hunt Chase would look uh, made for him, I think. Yeah. Could he be competitive if he did just hypothetically go the Brown Advisory route, though, do you think? Oh, he would be, yeah. yeah. But we've got to see, you know, what... Like, I imagine he's probably favourite in the National Hunt Chase, you know, and any time I think you're favourite for a race in Cheltenham, you should try and go that route, I think. And Willie, earlier on we saw Zarek the Brave rebound from that below power run at Tipperary. He was, we were saying earlier on, he was reported to be clinically abnormal that day. No one ever knows what that means. I mean, were you able to put your finger on it afterwards? Yeah, we, we were, and, um, you know, basically it's, uh, it means probably a, not quite a heart fibrillation, but... Uh, uh, and sometimes they get what we call the thumps, uh, you know, they're, um, but it's something that they, you know, get over the following day. Some horses uh, take them a while to get over it, but it's, it's a thing that happens and then uh, with very little help a horse can get over it. They just need time. We gave this fellow time and we tried to get him ready for another race somewhere along the line and the condition came back, but we gave him another break and now he's... He's back fine again, you know. He, all his work up the last three weeks has been very good, so we took a chance and, and ran him today, and he was he, he looks fine afterwards. I know he was a very short price today, but to me it looked as though he made a very much on song, Tell Me Something Girl. Were you yeah. really pleased with the way he was able to get the better of it? I, I was, um, but he ran like he'd been working at home today, you know, and uh, that's good. So I think he's in the champion hurdle. I'm not sure. We'll have to have a chat uh, with owners, Simon Muneer and Isaac Swade, see what way they want to go. Uh, you know, there there are other options at home for him, I think, here in Ireland. Maybe fair, he has some punches down, but uh, we haven't really looked at them yet, but we, I'd say it might be better to uh, win a few races at home. Yesterday was someday, even by your standards, six yes, of the yes. best graded winners. I know you were watching on from afar, but graded winners at Cheltenham, Doncaster and Ferries. Which of them would have pleased you the most? Uh, I mean, Lossie might look the obvious one. Uh, I thought Ashro Diamond has improved hugely. I thought Paul was fantastic on Capitano. Probably the conditions were very suited him, but I thought tactically he was so far ahead. Um, the bumper horse with Jody yesterday. I mean, one of our bumper horses been in front seven furlongs out on heavy ground. Um, Jody, what is, is she? Nine stone to keep a big national hunt lazy fecker that didn't want to go. You know that he he was looking all over the place. She kept him going. I thought she was very good on him. And um, Brian Hayes then had a nice double as well on the two that he rode in. Uh, and Jade Jade de Grugy in the mayor's hurdle in Ferryhouse was uh, very good. Um, with Brian, you know, he was, you know, Brian, uh, like he'd be third or fourth in our place. Uh, and then to get two good chances on, uh, you know, 
capitalise on the two of them. Fantastic for he was him. Just telling us afterwards, both you and Paul had filled him with confidence about Jade Degrees. Do you think she's yeah. right up there with some of the horses you've won that mare's novice in Cheltenham? With? I think so, and I think she's improving. So looking forward to the mare's novice in Cheltenham with her. You know, um, now that. Um, Honey Suckle is retired. Uh, Kenny will have something else to look forward to. Excellent. And you mentioned Lossy Met there. It looks as though the mayor's is going to be the port of call for her. What about Capadano? Because he wasn't in the Gold Cup. He's won the race that's a recognised Gold Cup trial. There's no fear of yeah. him being supplemented, is there? I don't know. I haven't discussed that yet, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure JP is looking in. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll see what he says. Uh, I'll be chatting to him later. But. Um, yeah, I think you know we had other plans for him, and um, but he's he's just improving nicely, and and he will, you know, the whole yard is just improving nicely coming into spring, so uh, we'll see. I suppose there's a grand national for him, and he did get some experience there last year too. Didn't he? Exactly, that would look more the plan. And Willie, just finally before we let you go, big weekend next weekend. Is Gallopin definitely going to spearhead the team, all being well? At the moment, everything that's entered is running. Uh, <laughs> I haven't... Uh, Gallopin is... My plan is to run him. My plan is to run the champion hurdle horses, all the novices. Um, we'll be doing nice bits of work this week. And from what I'm hearing at home when I was away... Uh, everything is going according to plan. That's great news. So none of the high-profile horses are going to miss the gig at this stage? Not. I know there's still a not, few days left. Not, not today, Sunday, unless they run a uh, gallop disappointing during the week. Brilliant. And finally, finally, you have got a few chances left to come today, a couple in the maiden hurdle, and a uh, new recruit in the bumper. What can you tell us yeah, about that? Um, I think he's a nice horse. I think he works nicely with the horse that won yesterday, so I'm hoping uh, that he can produce the same race course performance as uh, yesterday's bumper winner did. And um, two in the maiden hurl, special Caddo has to improve, doesn't he? Has to improve on his form. Uh, but I care to what I think if he puts in his best run, we'll go very close. Lovely. Well, yeah. look forward to seeing them run. Well done so far. Thanks for joining us, Willie. Thank you. Appreciate Cheers. It. Bye -bye. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com. <laughs>